It was one of the most talked about moments of the day when 64-year-old Diana Nyad proved to us all that age is just a number and reminded us why we should never give up on a dream. Nyad finally accomplished hers, becoming the first person to swim from Cuba to Key West without a shark cage or anything else for that matter, but just sheer determination. NBC's Carrie Sanders is in Key West. Carrie, good evening. Well, good evening, Natalie. After swimming 112 miles, she came up right here on the shore, understandably exhausted, barely able to catch her breath. The hundreds who gathered here were also gasping in awe. After 54 hours, 52 minutes, 18 seconds, Diana and I had finally stood up and walked ashore. Sunburned and fatigued, she enters the record books when so many thought she was too old to swim across the Florida Straits. She first tried this 35 years ago. Four times she failed. Today, finally, success. We should never, ever give up. That team was with her every crawl stroke and flutter kick of the way. Less than a mile from shore, even those closest to her were amazed. This is NBC News to the Voyager. This is Southbound. Do you copy? Can you believe that Diana has made it this far? Unbelievable. We witnessed it ourselves and we can't believe it. How's she look to you right now? Well, she is still swimming strong. She's still swimming 50 strokes a minute which was the identical stroke count when she jumped in in Cuba. Diana Nyad began this fifth attempt Saturday morning with no flippers, no shark cage, equipped with a bodysuit and silicon mask to protect her from jellyfish. Her progress of 112 miles was chronicled online, on social media, but most importantly, on board a specially designed catamaran. Nyad followed a streamer hung from a pole that extended underwater, at night illuminated. Monitoring her vitals and applying special cream to protect her against jellyfish, her team fed and hydrated her, never letting her hold on to the boat. This morning, a cruise ship altered course, making way for Nyad, her achievement and inspiration. It's just utterly amazing. What is that sense of accomplishment? I'm beaming with pride. It's not just for myself, but my God, there's a team of 35 people. After arriving here on the beach, she was eventually taken to the hospital. Doctors have released her. They say all she needs is some food, water, and much needed rest.